I grew up being told stories, and I'm still being told stories, and now I tell stories. That's something the colonizer couldn't take away from us. But we still have our stories. Really quite huge rock art pieces that our people put down. That is our history. Family is really important. Our family history, and especially my mother's family, because I really believe I come from a matriarch. My parents were activists. My father worked for the Friendship Centers until he retired. My mother worked for the Native Women's Association. She was part of the group of Native women that fought for Bill C-31 to be reinstated. Ultimately, those are the people who really influenced me. This is the rock that I've had for a really long time. When I do my sister's piece, this is the rock that is constant that I use to crush the berries. The original dress that I wore. It's interesting thinking of time. And, and then I started thinking about my own birth stories of having four children and how that totally changed my life. This is the lounging jacket that I made for the actual performance. The dress was There is no concept of time when somebody passes or when somebody is born. Just wanted to show you the shoes. And these are shoes that James actually gave to me. And that's one thing I really learned from him. Just taking an object and, you know, just changing it. The late James Luna said to me, performance art is a medium for us indigenous people that doesn't compromise our culture. It makes me excited that I can make work that sort of question these ideas of rule, of law, of sovereignty. Whose sovereignty? I want to feel what it was like to crush berries on two stones, you know, that my ancestors, that's how they would do it. And I think maybe this is what James Luna was talking about.